Good morning, evening, afternoon. My name is Val. Welcome to Solitary 3. Point okay, I'll stop now. Okay, this is Hearthstone. Uh, I'm a noob. Uh, here's proof that I'm a noob. I said here's proof that I'm a noob. There you go. Look at that. Look at all those low levels. Look at that horrible arena key. Look at that. Four wins only happened once. Was lucky as hell. Um, lucky as hell. Have basically bull crap in terms of cards. Let's go fail. So I've been attempting uh, this um, to learn how this whole arena thing works. Um, and during my travels, I have found Hearth Arena, and I have decided to give this that a bash and attempt to uh, use that as well as the Arena Coops um, YouTube mods as well as other. Uh, information in order to try to get better at uh, drafting and playing and consequentially failing at uh, playing uh, these decks. I have here my first priest that I made with uh, Hearth Arena. Um, from what I have heard, I, I, I believe this was a, a, a um, deck that was very much reliant on board clear and combo-y things and that this would be a great deck for someone who knows what they're doing but for a noob this is literally asking for a 0-3. Uh, upon further analysis from people who are smarter than me it appears that is not the case and that this deck is just uh, extremely powerful in its own right. It has a lot of high value cards including but not limited to uh, a couple Shadow Priest which is basically a card steal which is a two card swing in of itself plus it's a 4-5. Uh, it also has Holy Nova, which obviously is, which obviously, since it's an AOE, has the potential of taking out multiple cards at once. It also has Dark Cuddleus, which can give a random menu, which, which, which with its increased health, can also pull an extra card or two out of itself as well. Uh, I also have Novice Engineer to give a little bit of extra card draw, even though that was mostly just a bullshit pick. Um... Uh, the biggest thing, however, are the combos that this deck has. Um, for example, uh, I have, in addition to the two Cabal Shadow Priests I have, I also have the uh, two... Uh, where is it? Where are you? There it is! Shrink Meisters! Which gives it many minus to attack. So if there's a four attack minion, I can reduce it to two, which makes it eligible for being cabled. And then once it's in my possession and I end my turn, the Shrink Meisters um, effect wears off, and I have back, and now I have in control of a four minion. I have that in addition to the one mandatory mind control for the priest. So this is something that hmm, for the priest. So there could be lots of mind controlling going on uh, in these games. I also have Vulcan, which uh, swaps health with another minion. Um, in addition to being a legendary 6-2, which is awesome in its own right. Uh, the swap is not limited to your own minions. It is limited. You can also swap with an opponent, which means that two health is this we're a priest we have holy smite which is a spell that deals surprisingly enough to health um to do damage why i say to health um thus effectively i have that combination uh allows basically gives me a six mana free removal of basically anyone in the game for the most part unless uh i don't think there's any real way that, that could go wrong but we'll see but we'll see Plus, I have a 6-2 on the board. Well, not necessarily a 6-2, a 6-anything on the board. There's a Deathwing that I pulled, and it'll be a 6-10, and we'll be extremely happy, but that won't happen. Um, other than that, um, nothing, way to, mm -hmm, nothing way too um, crazy. I got a Baron because I got two Legendaries, so that's great. Um, nice board clear. Maybe not the greatest, but you know what? It's a Legendary. Can't really complain. Um, and then I have Velen's Chosen, which is, and then, and then Velen's Chosen, um, which is just great in its own right, especially when combined with Stealth Minions, of which I have multiple here, because Draft, and all sorts of things. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and play this, and I will probably fail. I probably will not do a entire arena run, I'll probably do uh, three or four, and then call it a day, and then continue tomorrow, because... I want to uh, take my time here and kind of make sure I get the most out of each of these matches because I paid 150 gold for them. 
So we're going to make sure we get the most out of it. Let's have fun! Okay! Uh, I'm going to be a part of the arena, that way I have access to a deck list while I am doing this. I do not apparently get to hear anything while that's going on, so that might be a little bit weird. Um, there we go. Okay. I don't want to pull up OBS, thank you very much. Oh, a free match up! Great! Okay, let's see here. Alright, so, uh, we're not using Vine Vision turn one. That's bullshit. Uh, so we're probably going to get rid of that. Uh, Staring with Lord Tiger as a 5 drop is a little bit much. Uh, Holy Nova as a 5 draft is a little bit much. Shadow Boxer as a 2 drop is pretty good. I think we're willing to take that. Uh, I want to see what the Priest drops first. Alright, he's facing two cards. So he has one card that's pretty good in his hand. So he probably has a two drop or maybe something uh, different. It's also the middle card, so we'll be able to keep track of what that card is. Um, other than that, um, not the greatest opening hand. Uh, we still need a three drop, which is a bit of a problem with our deck. And we're going to need some more twos to pull four to get, you know, get a good four drop. A little bit of an issue, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to click confirm because I really don't want to see what happens if I run out of time. Okay, well there's a 3 drop, and we got one 4 drop, uh, and we can use the coin to coin out of the 4 and see what happens. Uh, they're starting off with the zombie chow, which is a bit bad. Um, uh, we definitely don't want a coin here. Uh, we still don't have a turn for play. We probably are going to need a way out of it, and we do have a way out of it with the Strangle Porn Tiger. So we're probably going to be coining on turn 4 into a turn 5 play. That's most likely what's going to happen. So we definitely want to end our turn here. I should not have ended my turn. I should have actually uh, took the time to uh, talk about other things. Uh, a Shadow Boxer. Okay, that's great. Um, this is going to end extremely well, I can see. So our situation here is um, we have the Shadow Boxer, which deals one damage to a random enemy uh, when it's healed. And looking at the board, it most likely will be healed a lot, unless they plans on uh, trading uh, both elements into it. Uh, although it won't kill anything, which is worrisome because he'll hit it with a Shadow Boxer, heal it, and then deal that because he has initiative. But I can't do much about that. I mean, he went first. Um, and then I have this, which gives him opinion minus to attack this turn. Eh, not really helpful, especially since there's two twos on the board, and I'll probably just die anyway. Um, in terms of in terms of uh, tempo, they're both the same. It's just which effect do you really want more, or do you want to coin into a fish tank of the ghoul? Which again, we need it for turn four. So the option here would most likely be that. And then turn three. Um, right now, for turn three, we got that. That's our only option. Uh, which kind of sucks because this thing will most likely die. Um, but you know, I'll just have to be a two drop, which is cruddy, but this can't do much. But, I mean, you know, what, what, I mean, not, not much else we're going to be able to. We're going to be behind, which is hard. Um, not really hard. We do have ways out of it, but right now we don't have said ways. Yep, there's the clear. He decided to use that instead of using his... Uh, again, that's probably more of a tempo play than anything. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that myself. Again, it's, he had first turn advantage right now. And I don't really have a way out of that at this point in time. Um, I have 3-3. Three, three. Uh, options include um, coining out of this 3-3 three, three and playing 2-2s. Two, the problem with that is then turn 4 comes and I don't have anything to respond with. Uh, so that's probably not going to happen. Um, unfortunately, the only option is the 3, which is a 2-drop, which is going to die almost instantaneously. I mean, it's a 3. Yeah, it's going to trade out with the... It's going to trade out with the Streakmeister, which is a 2. So I'm going to be losing a mana there, um, which is horrid. I'm, I'm going to have to use a Holy Nova or something like that or wait for a combo uh, to be able to get myself out of this game. Um... I have here this combo on turn 8, if I survive that long. Plus, even if I don't survive that long, I have the Shadow Chapel Priest, which can steal something right on these small things. Unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice here. I have to play that. 
because I definitely need a coin for the turn five play. Or, at the very least, my my answer to the now we have a couple options. I'm probably going to coin here because again we're getting to the point where the coin isn't really as valuable. So being able to pull the five drop first is a pretty big deal, especially given oh god that's not good. Um, especially given the fact um for five drops. So options include um if I don't coin, then it's going to be a trick meister followed by an office engineer, uh, which is going to be uh, two plus a half, which is two and a half tempo, which is certainly not enough to have any impact whatsoever. He's going to continue playing tempo, and that is bad in arena. So we're probably going to end up coining. Now, uh, the 4-2 here, it's going to be uh, two and a half mana, um, and then it's going to deal two damage. There's no source that would kill with the two damage, so that's not really helpful. We do have the Stranglethorn Tiger, which can actually start taking some things out, so I'm probably going to end up doing that. Turn 6 is looking pretty awesome because I do have the Cabal Shadow Priests. I'm probably going to have to use it, um, to be honest with you. Well, uh, excuse me, we need to turn 5 first. Turn, next turn 5, you know, then we've got, you know, Shrink Meister or the Thomas Engineer combo. Or at that point, I can think about Storm Piking, whatever comes out. Or maybe we have something else with the new card that comes out. Uh, unfortunately, this has to be our play. Which is pretty hard, but I can't really do much about that. Um, so, turn 5 coming up. We got 5 mana to use. We're probably going to end up having to use this unless we get a nice draw coming out of this. This is not good. We are continuing the face. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. That is pretty potentially good. Um, I really want to save my combo now, but I don't think I have the luxury of doing so. But anyway, five, five mana. What can we do with five mana? We could deploy a Sword of Head Commando. That's pretty horrid. Um, that's going to be basically a two and a half mana. Two and a half tempo. And three and a half when you consider the dealing two damage, although he's just going to heal it back up. Um, Shriekmeister. I really don't want to use Shriekmeister because I'm going to need it to get back in this game. So I think that the correct option here is going to be to play this this thing. Now, no, I could. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deal damage two damage to him, and we're going to take him out. There we go. Taking out the biggest threat, and now I have a five one that can go ahead and remove something else, which is pretty awesome. Which will be pretty awesome. Or you'll have a holy nova. <laughs> Or you'll just have a Holy Nova and just... Or you'll have a Holy Nova and just ruin everyone's day. But if that's the case, I really can't do anything about that at this stage. Um, unless he has the balance, balance, balance choice. He does! That's great! Okay, we have a 4-7 on the board again. Okay. Well, Baron Garen is coming out. Uh, that's for sure. Let's see what he's going to do. Um, well, no, I can't bring him out here. I have the Shadow Cabal, but that doesn't do anything because it needs two or less attack. And there's no one here that has needs two or less attack, so there's no way that could ever happen. Um, I'm probably going to have to play that without any help, which is horrid, but I don't have a choice. I mean, what's the alternative? I, 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 sh I use my Shrink Marker, so I use my combo up, and I then proceed to draw a card, which is pretty not good right now. Okay, there's the removal. Okay, that's not good, but that's not bad. It would be great if I had a mini on the board. I don't, though. Um, this will kill it. That's a double trade. Um, although, he'll probably heal and things like that on those lines. Um, I'm probably going to end up using one. I do have the opportunity to... I still have the combo in my hand. I'm just going to use that one card. I can't steal it, which is bad. But I think that at this point, I mean, let's see. That's a that's going to be a four. That's going to be a four tempo play, um, which is not enough. But that's okay. Um, and then we've got two tempo and half tempo. Two and a half tempo is not worth it. Um, even by take, it's technically three and a half. But even then, that's not going to really be enough. Um, definitely going to have to shout. Definitely going to have to do that. Unless, yeah, that. But but yeah, that doesn't. Uh, oh. 
I could... I don't know. I don't know what a light warden is. I should have looked that up. Damn it. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull it. That's, pre that's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, it's four, which, as we know, is everyone's favorite number when playing against priests. Turn seven. Um, we got Baron. That's probably going to be our play. There's the trade. There's the heal. It sucks, but that's what's going to have to happen. That's it's it's that important right now. There we go. That works. Oh, look at your weapon. It has plus two tech. Oh, wait. You're a priest. You don't have any weapons. Yippee. Um, turn eight. Potential steal. Very good potential steal. Although, th the fact that the Baron Ganon is on the board is a little bit of an issue. Here, you got a problem. Um... That's pretty good. Um, I don't have any really good drops. Which is a bit of a problem. Do I steal it? If I steal it, then I'm giving way too much to the Baron. I think I just do this. He's going to have to use it now. Yeah, there's a trade. Destroyer, attend me. Ready, sir. That's a pretty good steal. Let's do it. Oh, that's a board clear and a steal. So, we give him minion, two less attack. That's going to be that, dude. We're gonna, gonna take control of that minion that has two or less attack. And then we're gonna holy smite him. Board advantage is ours! I probably should have roped, but I did not. But that's okay. Uh, turn ten. Uh, we got a lot of this is this is hot this is this is it. We win the game here or that's it. Um, if we don't win the game here, we are very, very fucked. We are really hoping he does not have double Holy Nova, because if he does, this is going to end well. That also ends just as badly. Okay. So. Definitely this. Every character is healed, gain to us do attack. <gasps> oh, that's what it does. Okay. I'm gonna do that. That's that's a pretty good tempo, I think. Um. Okay, we don't have to go super tempo anymore, right? Um, hold on a second. Sorry. Um. Uh. I'm gonna play around the Holy Nova. I'm gonna play that to get a card. That's not worth. I'm gonna play that because it has three health. I'm gonna keep that card in my hand because Holy Nova. 
He probably doesn't have it, but I'm going to play around it anyway, because I'm pretty sure that's the only way I lose the game at this stage. Oh no. Oh no. That's not a good time. Please tell me that's a Bluffin Raptor. I really don't want to be with Vulcan. I don't have a lot of good ways to deal with him. Especially since... I'm not that bad! Your magic shall not save you. Okay. He doesn't have it. He would have played a 3-drop if he would have played it if he did. So that's definitely a Bluff and Raptor. So he has a Bluff and Raptor and something else. Um, okay. First, lethal. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No damage in my hand. 9. 9 is not, nine is not enough. Uh, so we don't have that. Um, that's a pretty good trade, I think. We're gonna pull that. <laughs> Try that out. Here comes the raptor. Probably. Hoping it's a raptor. The spirit spirit. It is not! It is a Vulcan! I think I don't think he understands. Like to play with fire? Um, the spirit spirit. I will take that back. <laughs> The light. One. Two. Obey. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He does not have the holy Nova by this point. If he does, I would be extremely surprised. Here comes the top deck, right? This is the top deck. Not all who are lost. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> okay. That's his plan. Uh, does reducing his attack by two do anything? It keeps him alive. That's worth, in my opinion, I think. Don't have a great sacrifice, but that's pretty good given the situation. I probably did I miss lethal? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, left, three, fourteen. Fuck! I missed lethal. I'm dumb. That's okay. Double mind blast. Triple mind blast for the win, right? Right? No, can't. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Well played. Yeah, you don't have that. Here come the food. Well, well, that was good. That was very good. So, um, that was kind of as expected. Um, I didn't have a really good game. I didn't have a really good early game. That that zombie chow really screwed me over. Um, that was way too early for me. I don't have any way to deal with that early game. Um, and that gave him tempo, and then Power and Getting came down. There, there's the board clear that I was looking for. I did not try a Holy Nova because obviously. Um, but after that point, uh, after that point, you know. That allowed me to that allow as well as that combo allowed me to take control of the board, and then once I got control of the board, uh, I just kind of wrecked face because that's how my deck works. 
Um, I was able to get value, and eventually got to the point where he was top decking things, and that's where we want to be. Um, had a death in my hand, but that was kind of to be expected at that point. That was a pretty good game. Um, early game, again, it, it seems like my early game is kind of bad, but I kind of expected that. Um, hopefully, next game we get a better opening hand, maybe we can prevent that from happening as hard, because that was a little bit worrisome early on. Ah, we're doing pretty good. Let's do another one. Uh, let me write this down. Priest, we had the coin, and we won. Save. Ta da! What is up with the priests? Bring what is up with these mirror matches? Oh, oh, this is not worth. It's not worth. It, it, it's not worth it. The three drop is worth. The two drop is not. Keeping the combo in their hand is definitely 100% not worth. Um, so we're not going to do that. Uh, Trinkmeister will keep. That's a pretty good two drop. That's definitely a good two drop. Uh, balance choice. Offer six points of stats and spell damage plus one. Nice on tempo card. Um, I definitely want to keep that. The problem is, will I have a minion? Will the Shrinkmeister live? That is key to how this is going to work. Um, if not, then we're going to be screwed. So, hoping for some good cards here. That's some okay cards. That is an interesting coin decision, though. I'll be honest, because I can coin into I can coin into the that, but then I have a novice engineer, which slows me down. Perhaps I'm better off waiting and seeing if I wait till later on to play the novice engineer when I have nothing else to do, um, and then hoping that maybe I can coin into a turn five or play or something along those lines. Alternatively, that happens, which means coining is perfect because I can deal with whatever gets thrown out. Because I can literally deal with whatever gets thrown out. Alternatively, that happens because then I can deal with whatever gets thrown out, which guarantees me the opportunity to use Villain's Chosen and get rid of whatever they throw out. Which is extremely awesome. Which is awesome. Which is completely and totally awesome. I also should not have coined that because I also should never have that. I, I need to get out of that. That, 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 um. I need to get out of that trap. Habit, habit. That's the word. Habit. Of course. So turn two. Um, probably going to shadow or tank. If he passes, then I guess I can just novice engineer, um, which kind of sucks. But then later on, I can pain and continue with and continue with tempo, um, or I can relens chosen, which that would be pretty awesome. I would think. Um, that's pretty good. Turn three. Heal. Yay! Heal yourself. We like that. So in this situation, uh, obviously we are not going to shower word paint ourselves. We are going to play the novice engineer. That is a card draw. We do not really care. Um, I wish I had that card instead of the novice engineer. I would have traded that easily. But that is how that is how the game works. We have a turn four play, which is good. It's also a charge, which is good, which is okay. Um, not sure how okay, but okay. Um, alternatively, we have a shadow word paint with that. Yeah, and I say that's kind of the point there. Uh, turn three. Uh, ooh. Ugh. I'm gonna use Violence Chosen because I can actually trade with that guy and keep myself alive, which is pretty awesome. So that's what we're going to do. And then if he uses Shadow Word Death, we've got two cards for it. It's not the end of the world. Um, I mean. That's four mana. That's a that's a four tempo. That's board control. That's pretty close to board control. So we're gonna have early on early board control here, uh, which means we should be able to, to uh, uh, crush him for that. Um, 
if he plays something, if he just plays a couple a minion, then we can Shadow War paint it and then play a Trump and then go to face. And so we can keep up the pace. Uh, or if it's small enough, we can charge into it and save those cards for later. Uh, turn five, we got the Storm Pike available. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. I was getting extremely happy about that, but so be it. Um, that is magic number. That is the magic number of four. Uh, charge will not deal with it. Um, so that is relatively sucky in the department of things. Um, that is relatively sucky in the department of things. Um, let's see if we can figure out a different way to do this. Um, this is a three drop. That's plus three tempo. Um, this is, um, uh, that's a three drop too. Um, this, I don't really need the charge. I could do with this. I could later on do something with this. Alternatively, I use this and a heal. I can't really heal anything. That's just a normal two drop. Um, ugh. This sucks, but I'm going to use it. Change a minion's attack to be equal to its health. Could be a potential big thing. Let's see what he does. I got ways to heal it. Um, I got ways to heal it. And then... I can heal it. I can get rid of the minion. And then heal. And then I have inner fire too. Which... Would, would, would help with it a little bit. Um, he's healing himself, which is great. And that's all he's doing. And I drew a tiger. Okay. Let's tiger. I'm not one to complain. I'm not one to complain. I'm not one to complain about that. Turn six coming up. Um, I could uh, pain something and then have a champion. I've got this. Although, wait a second. So if he doesn't have a turn five play, so he doesn't have a five drop, he doesn't have a three drop. He probably doesn't have a five drop. He might have a four. He, he, he's, he has a fours. He's, he has probably full of either four drops or extremely high cards. Both of which worry me. Four drops don't really worry me. High drops kind of do because I don't have a great way of dealing with them. Alternatively, he does that. Now the question is, does he have a four drop? That's going to be answered right here. That is... Wow. Wow. Ugh. Okay. This is a huge play. I'm gonna make that first. I'm going to do this. Drag no stupid. Your turn to <laughs> Dude, if you have no things to play, you're dead. This was this was really weird. I I wish I could see his hand because Is he is he really like waiting on that much? I mean, is his hand really that top heavy? I don't see how anything would be that top heavy. Is is he what? That's just confusing. I don't even know what to expect from that. Is he like just really playing value? That looked like a top deck. Okay. I, I can forgive you for that. Is that literally the only card you have? He has another card. That makes sense. That gives that allows six damage through. Um five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Oh man. I can't. I can't. I don't have lethal. Right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, I don't. Because I can't. I have to get rid of the seven. Um. So that's an extra seven health. So we are going to uh, swap the seven because that's how we roll. Um, we are then going to use the three to kill you off. We're going to heal because we don't have much else. And that should be game. Uh, he has tons of cards, but it's not going to matter because he didn't play them all during the two turns he killed himself. And as a result, he is going to die a horrible death. He's going to die a horrible death. Ooh. 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 Wow. <laughs> Apparently, Vulgin is a common legendary. And no one cares if he's an 811 because you're dead. G motherfucking G. Look at all those cards you have in your hand that you're not going to play. <sighs> well, um, that ended much, much better than expected. We had control of the board early, and then he took two turns and didn't do anything, which was very weird. Um, and we made him pay for it. Looks like that was the main lesson to be learned. Uh, so, um, very good That good thing though, we actually won the board because we did not draw any of our board clear. We did not draw Baron Geddon, we did not draw either of our Holy Novas. Um, the Holy Novas are somewhere in that deck. I, I, I hope Liz understands that. Um, but, um, it's very good that we were able to look at early control because if we did not, this would be a loss um, based upon our pretty bad luck. Um, but, that's how it works sometimes. Um, yeah, it's just I, I'm I'm so confused about why someone would wait that long. Um, felt like the only card that he had in his hand that wasn't big was the um, Shadow Word Paint because I didn't think I had played a minion uh, above its threshold at that point. I'm pretty sure that seven seven uh, was the first time that happened. And that was still that was, I think that was a really good play as well. Uh, I got kind of lucky with draws there as, uh, to be able to heal that up pretty quickly, and then inner fight. And then the the, the 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 mind control the mind no, not mind control uh, the 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 um I, what what's, what's what's that trash card again? I I forget the the one minus one mana card I have. What the heck is it? I'm finding out. Mind vision. Mind vision. Um yeah but with the mind vision um that kind of uh, smashes things into oblivion. Uh, but, uh, no, yeah, but, no, but, um, yeah, but, you know, I, I my vision to that, uh, inner fire, that was a pretty awesome, uh, play that I was able to then use that card, uh, to make that 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, that was pretty good. Um, didn't need any mind control. Didn't draw any mind control. Um, yeah. I guess that's Hearthstone for you. So I don't even even need my combos to really be able to do uh, that well. I was just able to, uh, in a tempo away, with uh, his two weird turns. But yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to learn anything without being able to see his cards, because that, that was just... That, that was that was bizarre. Uh, maybe it's just the fact that it's the zero one one bracket? I'm not sure. Um... Probably wanted two more before I'm done. Uh, let me quickly edit it first. I played against another priest. I went coin, and I won because I'm OP. And then we're going to play. So I haven't really been my head. I mean, the deck, the deck was tested a little bit early on to show. Basically, no, the first one was okay. Uh, I don't really have great tempo early game. You know, if I don't have a really good early game, I have the ability to retake the board. Uh, the second game was, if you give me the board early, I can crush your face. Um, pretty good test thus far, I think. Um, now, we're going to be able to test ourselves against an aggro deck. This is probably going to end extremely horribly, because we have no taunt. We have very little survivability, and so as a result, our only way we really win is to rush him down first, um, which is a little bit of a problem. 
All right, so what do we got here? Um, Night and Arrow is useless. Uh, it's not going to be a turn one play. Um, it's pretty useless given the draw that we have. Um, Shadow Word Death is not going to be helpful early. Um, Valence Chosen, the Shrink Master Valence Chosen combo was uh, pretty good. And Shrink Master, Shrink Master is just a good 2 2. Uh, excuse me, just a good, good 2 drop uh, by in and of itself. Um, a 2 Temple drop. And then Valence Chosen makes it even better. So that's what we'll do. Um, we'll have good cards here. <laughs> that's not really good cards. Although we do have the coin, which means we. We can, we can we can uh, we can fill in that spot. Um, uh, he's doing that thing again, uh, where he takes the advantage early. Um, we definitely cannot afford to coin. We don't have a turn for a play at all. Uh, so we definitely need to pass on that turn. Do you need a blessing? That kind of sucks because he's gonna get. Uh, it's gonna be a one three and a two one on the board. Um, that's even suckier, but we, we gotta put him out of the board. We are not going to lose. Um, we're going to put it on him because it's not going to matter. Because he's gonna get it back immediately, just like that. Uh, he's probably gonna trade that in, um, which is sucky, but say la vie. Um, he is, he is, that is okay. So it's not a rush deck. Unless he has, unless he just, unless the moves are just two cards he drafted that were pretty bad. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, turn three. Uh, we don't have to play. Um, yeah, we don't have a play. It just pff, we 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 kind of we kind of we kind of just sucked there. Um, your beast has charged. That's not helpful at all. It sucks. I have to use it, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it anytime at this point. And I just I don't have turn three play, which is very very bad. And I haven't been able to have the ability to have it. To be able to coin in something better because if I do, because I don't have a four drop at all. Uh, so that's that's a pretty horrible hand. So we definitely need a, a board clear. We have that board clear in the form of Holy Nova. Um, right now is not a good time to use Holy Nova. Um, I'm oof. I think we're going to have to coin into a strangle, the horn tiger, and then next turn we can Holy Nova if we want. Um, that's what we'll do. That works. That's what we can do. Uh, that's what we can do. Uh, we can um, run into the two five or the two one. Um, sucky, but can't do much. Um, that's not helpful in any way. Oh, it is helpful, but. But then, can I afford it? That's the question. I think I can. Two. That's going to change. I want to see what this is first. So let's see. I mean, I'm definitely going to do this. Because Holy Nova is not going to fix that problem. He needs to die. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Next turn, they all die. Because screw you. <laughs> I really had to pull the legendary out of him. Really. Ugh. That's a free card, too. Wow. That sucks. Wow. Um, I can pull him. Because <sighs> now Holy Nova's not going to work anymore. Man. I must consider it's just... Wow. I either played this horribly wrong, or I just got unlucky as heck. That's just horrid. What are my options? I can play the 2-2. Two -two. That gives me 4 mana left. Consider. Oh man, this is just bad. 
That's a two. It's five mana. He's got three, four, five and a half, six and a half, hmm. seven and a half. I think this is the wrong play, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. Let me change your mind. Job done. Oh wow. The tempo cards are hurting me so much. <laughs> Give me a Baron get in. No. That's not helpful. The two four is not helpful. I got a Holy Nova. I, I can't delay that any further. And this is my only other play apart from Holy Nova. So that's what I'm going to need to do. Dragno, stupid. Please don't tell me it's a... Fine! I just, I, I, I don't think I could catch a break. I think this was just, I, I just could not take the board in any way, shape, or form. And now here comes, now here comes his aggro cards. Wow. Well. Um. Maybe I draw a card. Things had things have to die this turn. Only thing that dies this turn is this. Which then trades into this. Two, three, four, plus two is six. Wow. I mean... That's just... Ugh. I don't know what I was supposed to do in that game. I don't know if that's just me failing as a player. Or if that is me... Or if that was just luck, because there were a lot of things that went his way. I mean, y y when you draw a legendary out of the um, out of the four three mech, y yeah, that's not going to be the greatest game in the whole world. I don't think so. Um, that was that was pretty harsh. Plus, you know, the, the turn one play, which. I could not do much with. Uh, he basically out tempoed me early game, and my only and I only got one of my only novas, and that wasn't enough. Um, I did not crawl the Baron. Um, I, I, I guess that's how it works sometimes. I think I should have I should have holy nova earlier. I think that might have that might have saved my ass. Um, but other than that, um, that was just that was one of those games that I think. As one of those games that I just, it, it was. It, I don't think I can deal with aggro hunters because I have no taunt, I have no survivability, and I don't think I can rush them down faster. Um, so it, that's a bad matchup, combined with um, some uh, bad RNG. Um, I think mostly screwed me over, um, which was mostly to be expected. But this one loss, not the end of the world. Um, definitely got opportunities still. I mean, I'll, I'll take I'll take six three any day.
Um, we'll do one more, and then we'll probably call it a day. Yeah, I'm gonna take. Yeah, I'm gonna take this really slowly because I want to make sure that I get uh, the most value out of this arena run in terms of uh, knowledge. So I'll probably watch this uh, tomorrow uh, if I can. Um, see maybe if there was something better I could have done. Post it up. Watch everybody yell at me for missing lethal. Um, or something along those lines. Um, and then hoping that. I will fight with honor. Hoping that maybe I can improve heading into the, my next set of games. Uh, okay, lots of twos. That's that's okay. We got a four, which is great. Uh, we have no three. Um, so we don't need the Alice Nemesis Engineer. We can get rid of that. Um, the Mech Worker is a good two drop. Um, Shadow Word Pain is a, a, a nice removal tool. Um, Life Spawn's good. Um, question is. Do we want to keep both Mech Warper and Shadow Warrior Pain, or do we want to get rid of one of them? I think getting rid of one of them is a good idea, because we need a 3-drop, and we need it pretty badly. Um, we are playing against Paladin. Um, I'm going to get rid of Shadow Warrior Pain. I like drops more. That's the thing. I like the 2-drop more, because it makes them do something. Or Shadow Warrior Pain is reactive. Um, I'm going to get rid of Shadow Warrior Pain. We're going to keep Mech Warper, we're going to keep the Light Spawn, and we're going to draw a 3-drop. That wasn't the 3-drop I was thinking of, but that is a 3-drop, so I'll take it. But that is a 3-mana three, three play. I'll take it. <sighs> Coining into turn 2 is not a good idea. We're just going to waste stuff, so we are going to have to hit the end of turn. Now, on turn 2, what are we going to do? Uh, turn 2... Um, do we coin? No, we don't coin because that's a three drop, and we, if we coin into that, then we're going to hit that. So turn two is going to be that. Turn three is most likely going to be that, or potentially coining into this. Turn four most likely be this, or coining into a holy nova if necessary, um, with a potential shadow word death as well, um, combined with something that maybe I draw or maybe a heal. So a lot of options potentially with the coin, uh, most likely later, um, not now. So, we're going to hit end turn. Um, you know, after this turn, after that turn one, um, we're going to see here. Okay, 2-2. Uh, two, two. Okay, that's not the greatest. Um, in this situation, uh, I don't see a reason to say whenever a minion dies, game plus one attack. Uh, so, we're just going to throw the mech warper out. And now, on turn three... Uh, we've got options. We've got plenty of options turn three. We could go into a light spawn. If it looks like that's okay. Uh, looking in terms of trading, um, they'll trade evenly. They'll take some time. He has the opportunity to potentially heal or do something bull crappy, bull buggy to it. Like a son, like a clerk. Clerk would suck. Um, but nothing we can really do with that. Shut up. Uh, shut up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna shut you up right now. Um, a uh, Sunlight Cleric would really suck. Um, but that's okay. He does not have the Sunshine Cleric. That's good. Oh, come on! Oh, wait, no. It's both, right? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, I could heal it. If I heal, and then run. But then I lose a mana. Um. Currently, I fire even ghoul it, because that's his plan. Um, and if he attacks this, well, then that's his problem. Um, so, that works. Um, he'll probably... I mean, he could run both things into it, but that kind of succeeds at what I'm trying to do. Um, so that would be good. So I don't think, in, I don't think there's no any requirement to immediately coin. So let's let's pull the goal. Let's not make the attack. Let's make him do it. And we're going to stop our turn. And we're going to end our turn here. If he wants to trade both in. Okay. And on that day, 
started war death was invented and God said it was good oh well on that day shadow word and on that gate and on that didn't let there be shadow word death and there it was um do we coin into that I think we're not gonna get much value out of the coin uh, soon so I am going to use it now so to put that out of range to get that out of range of his attack to get that out of range of his weapon for the crusade for the crusades lots and lots of freaking things I could is that a good idea though I don't think so. Ugh, man, this is harsh. I wonder. Man, okay, so I could shadow word pain them with three mana. That doesn't give me much of an option in terms of tempo, but that does take a three one off the board with shot divine shield. I think I save that for next turn. I think that this turn, I oh, we know with this. Okay. Run this in. And use that. It's probably just gonna pull that, but that'll at least force a clear. If not, give me more options. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna be pretty shitty. Okay, so. I mean, sure. Reporting for duty. Okay. A little, a little sucky. But that's okay. That's to be expected. Um. Oh, man. I'm just. I'm just this off. That, that can tank. That can tank everything. I think that's my best option, right? This is... That's a... Um, a four and a half mana play. Versus this, which is going to be a two tempo play. Because I can... Without word, that, that's, that's four off the board. Um, and this, which is a two mana. This four, which is good, but four and a half is better. And these are two are tied. These two are tied. But I'm gonna let him have another board. This gives me the opportunity to establish a board, and the next turn I can wholly know if he doesn't do anything. Or if he runs to face. So I think for that reason I'm gonna play Spectral Knight. Keeping a mana on the board, but I could never use that mana anyway. And if he finds a way to get to deal with that bullshit, if he finds a way to deal with it, then Baron Gideon saves my ass. Uh, then Baron Gideon begins to save my ass. Then Baron Gideon keeps us in the game. Then Baron Gideon keeps us in the game. Um it's yep. How? Oh, okay. And on that day, God said, "Let them be holy, Nova." And it was good. Okay, that's sucky. Bring out the Baron! Bring out, bring out your dead!
bring out your dead. Oh, so close, though. That's ten. That's not enough. Do I do I run into them anyway? I wonder. I know, he'll die immediately, but that 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 makes him have to make a decision. Yeah. Yeah you go. And now you're gonna play another legend. Here you got a problem. I smell blood. What? I can't steal it, can't I? That's how this game works, right? Man. Ah. Oh, really? Give me a card. Give me a card. I need a card. That doesn't help much. I've got a huge card. And then he goes. That's going to make him have to do something with my board. I think. Nine. Well, it'll make him have to attack me. Even if he attacks face. Whatever. I couldn't do much. Please don't tell me it's a hammer of... <laughs> I smell blood. Reporting for duty. I'm a horrible player. That 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 the game should just give me two the game should just give me two losses. Game that should be worth two losses. I'm sorry. That's just the worst game ever. That was everything I needed to win the game and I didn't. So I made a mistake somewhere and it was probably something stupid and dumb. And quite frankly, Blizzard should just say, you know what, that counts as two. That's what Dillish just do. That was hard. All right, what well, we'll be on for the day? Uh, we're at two and two, so I'm about ready to have everyone epically yell at me and tell me how horrible of a player I am that I rightfully deserve. And hopefully, some portion of that involves some help as targeted as what I have to work on to actually uh, be good at this game. Um, that fourth game was just... I, I, I got all my tools. I just didn't use them properly. I don't... I, I, I'm not going to say that that was bad luck or anything like that. I, I must have made a fundamental mistake that cost me the game. It, it is that simple. Um, so, I don't know what it is. And until I do, I'm just going to keep failing arena matches. You know, that, that, that's, how, that's how you get horrible runs like this with good decks uh, you make stupid mistakes and then you don't identify them so we'll see alright uh, thank you for watching I will see you later have fun